Welcome to Anywhere Math. I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to kick it up a notch. We're going to be solving equations using multiplication and division. Let's get started. All right, here's our first example. But before we get to these, I just want to go over what we learned in our last video when solving equations. Remember, the whole goal of solving equations is to get the variable alone. The variable equals something on the other side, right? Get that variable all alone. Uh, another thing to remember is that anything you do to one side, you have to do the exact same thing to the other. If you don't, the equation will not be balanced and you won't have an equation because each side are not equal to each other. So whenever you do one thing to one side, you have to do the exact to the other side. That's the other really, really important thing to remember. And then also, lastly, when you are solving equations, we use the inverse operations. Uh, with addition, if we're trying to get rid of addition, we use a subtraction. If we're trying to get rid of subtraction, we use addition. We use the opposite operation to cancel out or undo uh, what's been done to the variable. So with that in mind, let's solve these. So our first equation, w over 4 is equal to 12. Well, w is being divided by 4. Remember, I'm going to focus on the variable first. Well, what's the opposite of division? Well, it's multiplication, right? So to undo that divided by 4, that division, I'm going, I'm going to multiply by 4. So I'm going to show it like this, w uh, times, I'm sorry, 4 times w over 4 is equal to, I multiplied this side by 4, I have to do the same thing over here, 12 times 4, okay? Well, what happens when we do that? Well, I can put that over 1, and whenever you're multiplying with fractions, we always try to simplify. That 4 would cancel out with that 4, and i left with w over 1, which is just w. Well, that's perfect. That's what I wanted. I wanted w alone, and I have it. So w equals 12 times 4 is 48. Before I box that answer, I can always check. Substitute it back in at the top for w. If w is equal to 48, let's check. If 48 divided by 4, well, what's 48 divided by 4? I could do that down here. 48 divided by 4. 4 into 4 goes once. That's 4. Subtract. I get 0. Bring down the 8. 4 into 8 is 2 times. So 48 divided by 4 is 12. So that is our solution. Okay. Uh, let's try the next one. Now we have 2 sevenths x equals 6. This 2 sevenths is right next to my variable x, which means they're being multiplied by each other. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So to get rid of this 2 sevenths, I can divide by 2 sevenths. Well, dividing by a fraction, we hopefully you remember, is the same exact thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this 2 sevenths x times the reciprocal of 2 sevenths. So I'm going to multiply it by 7 halves. 7 halves times 2 sevenths x is going to be equal to, well, if I multiply this side by 2 sevenths, i got to do the same thing on the other side. 7 times 7 halves there. Okay. Well, look what happens here. Again, simplify. Well, the 2's cancel out, the 7's cancel out. Basically, you get 1 times x, which is just x. So I get x equals. Same thing here. I'm going to try to simplify. I'll put that over 1, just so I know that it's in my numerator. That would be 1. The 6 uh, simplifies to a 3. 3 times 7 is 21. And again, before I box that answer, I can substitute it back in. 2 sevenths times 21. Well. 2 sevenths times 21, put that over 1, that would simplify, that becomes, what, 3 
2 times 3 is 6. So 21 is my solution. Okay. Here are some to try on your own. All right, example two, solving another equation. 5b is equal to 65. Now, uh, 5b, when you see it like that, you see uh, a coefficient next to the variable. That means multiplication. This is 5 times b. So to undo that multiplication, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to divide. So I'm going to divide this side by 5, right? And anything I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So right away, I'm going to also divide that side by 5. Divide both sides by 5. Well, hopefully you notice this 5 and this 5 will cancel each other out. Okay. So I'm left with B, which is perfect. That's my goal. Get the variable alone. Is equal to 65 divided by 5. Well, six or 5 into 6 goes 1, so that's 15. So 3. So I get B is equal to 13. Before I box it, I'm going to check, substitute it back in. 5 times 13 is 65, so that is my solution. Okay. So here we were using division to solve uh, this equation. And write it like this. Write it like a fraction. It makes a lot more sense when you write it like a fraction because you can see canceling out there. And if you're wondering, well, how does that leave us with B? 5b, again, means 5 times b. <coughs> Excuse me. So if I'm dividing that by 5, well, I could separate that as 5 over 5 times b. Right? And if you're wondering how, how does that work, just go the other way. Right? If you had 5 over 5 times b, well, this is like b over 1. I can always do that with a, with a variable or a whole number or whatever. So then I would go, okay, well, 5 times b is 5b. 5 times 1 is 5, right? So I should put that down there. Okay, so it's the same. And what do you get there? 5 over 5 just becomes 1. That's why I kind of canceled it out with, looks kind of like a big 1. And then you're left with B over 1, which is just B. Okay, So that does work. You get B alone is equal to 13. Let's try one more example. All right, here's our last example. The area of the parallelogram-shaped playground right over here is 2,730 feet squared or square feet. How long is the sidewalk? Okay. Well, if it's a parallelogram, well, then we know the area for a parallelogram is equal to base times height. And if you look at our picture, you can see that the base is 65 feet. So I can make an equation already. I know the area of it. Area is 2,730 square feet. So I'm going to substitute that in for area. 2,730 is equal to, I also know the base was 65 feet. So I'm going to substitute that in for B. 65, h is what I'm trying to solve. The length of that sidewalk, notice that's going perpendicular to my base, which means it is the height. That's what I'm solving for. So that's I'm leaving that as h as my variable. So here's my equation. 2,730 is equal to 65h. Well, how am I going to solve that? Focus on the variable. 65 is being multiplied by h. To undo that multiplication, I need to divide, right? I'm going to divide both sides by 65. Okay. 65 over 65 just becomes 1. That goes away, right? So I'm left with H, 2,730 divided by 65. Uh, if you do that on your paper, you should get 42. Okay. So my final answer, how long is the sidewalk? Well, it's 42 feet. Okay. Uh, that's our last example. Here's some to try on your own.
Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.